Well, how's it going, everybody, and welcome back to Tyler's Real Fishing, the underwater series. As you guys know, this is one of my favorite series to film, edit, and release to you guys here on YouTube. And I know that, per the views, you guys love this series as well. And so I'm very, very excited to bring this footage to you guys today. Now, the fish that you are looking at here is about a five-pound female. And she is very, very committed to her bed. She is very protective of her nest. And that is one characteristic that you don't always find in a female bass during the spawn. Usually they're pretty finicky and they don't really like to stay on the bed. But this one here was showing those characteristics that I thought, you know what, I need to get the camera down there and shoot this awesome clear water footage for you guys. You know, I've been filming this footage for a long time and it still gets me excited to just look at that big bass sitting down there on the bottom. So hopefully in this video you guys learn a few things about how to become better sight fishermen yourself. Please subscribe to this channel if you have not yet, and we'll see you guys on the rest of the video. Now the lure that I've chosen to target this bedding bass is, is probably no surprise to a lot of you guys who have watched this channel before, and that is a white rage craw or a white craw of any kind with a spot remover jig head. Now I found that this is one of the most effective ways in my opinion to catch bedding bass, and this bass is definitely going to show no differences there. Boom, that is so cool to watch. Just to watch the fish come up to the bait, suck it in, but only suck in the, the claws. So cool. And there it goes again. That fish was not quite eating the bait there, and so of course I did not set the hook because she did not have the whole bait in her mouth. So what I do when targeting a fish like this is, of course, I know this fish is definitely catchable. It just depends how long it will take to get this fish to bite. So I'm taking my, my craw and I'm not working it in the exact same way every cast. So as you can see there, the last three casts, she picked it up by the claws but did not eat it. And so as you'll see the rest of the cast, I'm going to change up my retrieve a little bit and also change up my location of which I am placing the craw to see if she reacts any differently. Now due to every bedfish being in a different state of mind, you have to test out exactly what those fish want and how they want the lure retrieved. And as you can see there, the bass reacted a little bit better when I worked the bait a little bit faster. I don't know about you guys, but that gets me so excited to see the fish down there eyeing down your lure and yet not eating it. It is filled with such anticipation. Oh, he likes it swimming. Now, if you didn't hear what I said just now, I said the fish wants it moving. And you'll see why here in a sec. Got him. Got him. Big in it. Big in it. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yes, 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 yes! <laughs> oh, it's exciting! Oh, it's exciting! Heck yeah! Yes! Let's go! <sighs> I don't know how much you guys, I don't know how much y'all could have seen of that, but five pounder. Well, I definitely will never get sick of looking at footage like that. So let's take one more little replay. Look at how this fish reacted. You know, I threw the bait in there and swam it across the top of the bed. And I noticed that she reacted a lot quicker than she had in the previous five or six flips that I had made. And so I made one more flip in there, gave it some hops, and she ate it. So that is really what you have to do with these bedding bass is that you have to be in a mindset of, of change. You have to not be stuck uh, in, in the same way of working your lure because each fish is different and each fish wants the lure presented in a different way. And it just took me five or six minutes to really figure out what this fish wanted. 
So that is it for the video today. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Uh, again, please subscribe if you have not joined the TRF channel. It is a pleasure for me to be able to bring you guys this footage and take you along my adventures with me. Of course, if you guys are you know lovers of the bed fishing footage, click up in these corners over here to see more bed fishing videos like this. And also, I would implore you guys to check out a lot of the other videos that I have here on the channel, from my tournament coverage to my bass fishing challenges. I love being a well-rounded YouTube fisherman, and this is just one of the many ways that I bring footage to you guys. So all of the gear that I was using from the rods, reels, to the craw and the shaky head itself will be linked down in the description below, along with my merch. And we'll see you guys on the next episode of Tyler's Reel Fishing.